Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. So I want to talk about this uh, live stream that Doc did with Escape from Tarkov a few months ago, uh, five months ago to be exact. And uh, it's a very interesting part in the game where he was live streaming. I think it's around six hours and four minutes, four seconds. Uh, when he goes inside his building and he goes up the, the stairway on the second floor, and he approaches this glass door, uh, and right before he approaches the glass door, he sees there's another opponent, and he fires a few shots, and the first few shots hits this individual on the shoulder, splattered the blood on the wall, and you see the bullet's trajectory hit the wall, where he got also hit in the, in the shoulder, and then you see Doc moving the gun to the right, hitting in a, a shooting in the center, and you see the bullet holes hitting the door down the hallway in the center. Uh, I just want to point out how realistic Escape from Tarkov is. Uh, and that's what we're doing here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's play this clip. All right, so this is Doc going up the stairs. Uh, and when he opens this glass door in the hallway, he's going to move to the left. And when he moves to the left, there's going to be a guy standing there. And uh, he's going to fire uh, a first few shots. And the first few shots to the left are going to hit this individual in the shoulder and will splatter the blood. And you will also see the bullet holes on that wall, on the left side of the wall. Like right here. So right here, you see Doc made his first few shots. Right there. So, hold on. Let me show you. You see that? Hold on. You see how realistic that is? If you look over here to the left, right here to the left, maybe I can uh, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. If you look right here to the left, you will see where he hit the person and where the blood splattered, he got hit in the shoulder and you can see the bullet holes. And also if you zoom in, right here to the center you can also see the bullet holes right there where he shot that individual so let's let's go back really quick so as you can see Doc made his first shot here he fired his very first shot here from the left and that's where he shot the guy uh, in the shoulder and then when he moved to the right a little bit he also fired a few more shots and those other shots went to the wall on the left side and then he centered to the center to the center and fired a few more shots and those other shots went to the door so this is Doc positioning his gun to the center and that's where he hits the uh, the door So Doc has entered the room. As you can see, right here, on the left, where he first fired his shots, you can see where he uh, wounded this guy, hit him in the shoulder. And you can see the blood splattered, and you can see the bullet holes. And then the uh, individual ran towards this door, and Doc positioned his gun and fired a few more shots, and you can see where the bullets hit the door, uh, which is right over here. Yeah, I'll zoom in. And you can see those bullet holes right over here. So this is pretty realistic, right? If I was to get somebody from a, a ballistic team from ATF or SWAT or FBI, right? Uh, ballistic team. If they were to look at this, they would say, oh my goodness. This game, it's very realistic. But let's continue with this uh, footage 
And I want to show you where Doc made the mistake. So let's let's move on. All right, so in this footage, Doc's going to proceed throughout this hallway. He's going to make a right. He's going to pick up some more stuff. He's going to exit back. And he's going to go ahead, open that door. Now, he didn't rush through the door. He did open it. But he made one fatal mistake, and that is uh, he was peeking. And he shouldn't have been peeking. Uh, he should have thrown in a uh, flashbang or a grenade. Uh, if he had a flashbang, the flashbang would have... Uh, blinded the, the individual for about a few seconds, would have bought him a few seconds of time, and he would have been able to eliminate the individual. Or if he had a grenade, he would have been able to uh, uh, at least get the uh, person to position himself to the other side, uh, maybe w wounded him a little bit with a grenade. But uh, he made that one fatal mistake, so let's look at it. Which makes it all more realistic. So Doc goes in here, picks up some more stuff, exits out. All right, checks the corridors, open this door. And he makes one fatal mistake over here. He peeks instead of throwing a... Uh, he peeks. And the guy was waiting for him. Instead of throwing a grenade or a uh, flashbang. And because of that, you know, he dies. So let's watch it again. He goes in. You know, reloads the magazine. Checks the corridor. Opens the door. And the fatal mistake. There it is. He's peeking instead of throwing a grenade or a flashbang. There's no way he hits that. Yes, Doc. There is a way. And this is why this, to me, uh, Escape from Tarko is the most realistic game. The guy was waiting for him right there underneath that desk. And uh, Doc made a, one fatal mistake here. He shouldn't have been peeking. And here, I'll zoom in and you'll see the guy right over there. The guy was right over there. You can see him right there. You can see the figure. He was right there waiting for him. Let's watch it one more time. Now, he positioned himself correctly here. If you ask any SWAT officer, they'll tell you, yeah, he did a pretty good job here. But the way he breached this door, he made an error. He peeked, and the guy was just waiting for him to peek and position himself in the line of sight to shoot him in the head while the doc should have uh, throw the grenade in there, flashbang. If you didn't have a flashbang, then you shouldn't have breached this door. If you didn't have a grenade, you shouldn't have breached this door. And, and I don't know if he had a grenade. I don't know if he had a flashbang, but... He should have never breached this door like this. And because of that, that's why he died. And the guy was right over there waiting for him. And he was hiding right underneath the, uh, the desk. And as soon as he peeked, you know, this individual just got up and shot him. So, um... My camera, it's moving. <laughs> so anyway, sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick. Uh, I have a, you know, cold, flu. But I just wanted to uh, point this out as to why Escape from Tarkov is so realistic. And uh, this is the type of game I want to play. Not like Call of Duty and Valorant and all these other games that are so easy to make a shot. Here... It's not easy. Here you have to think, you have to strategize, just like in real life situation. Uh, and that's what makes Tarkov so realistic. Now, is there people cheating in Tarkov? I'm sure there is, but I'm also sure they're getting easily reported and uh, the developers are easily banning them, you know. So, uh, but yeah, this is why I escaped from Tarkov. It's very realistic. I just wanted to point this out. And th these are the type of games I like. Realism, you know. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this analysis, 10 minutes of this uh, analysis, uh, just to point out why Escape from Tarkov is so realistic. Thank you for watching.